prehistoric monster who came from outer space, created by the Martians to destroy the human race. The FBI is helpless, it's granny story told. What can we do, who can we call? Call for war, we take plans. monster with human emotions when I met the armored man. Thank you, Tobor, for a wonderful time. I don't know when I've enjoyed myself so much. I've had a wonderful evening, too. You know that. Then we should go out every night. <laughs> that would be nice if I weren't so busy all the time. What's that up ahead? It's a monster! Stop it! Try your best to be calm. I'm scared. What's the matter? You stalled? Get in a push! Hey, look at that! Help! Hey, get us out of here! Whatever you are, can you understand me at all? Wait. Oh, please, let it go. It understood me. I am so scared I can't talk. We're lucky it's gone, whatever it is. And I'm telling you, we're getting away from here this very doggone second. What are you people doing here? We just saw a huge monster. Yeah. You did? Where was it? Which way did it go? It was here on the road. Then it went into the heavy woods there, over to your right. All right, take them into custody. Custody? What do you mean by that? Just do as I say and there will be no trouble. Get into your cars and follow the jeep. Don't try to run away or you will be shot. Now let's go. That's what you think. This is still a free country. Don't be a fool, young man. Well, I'll just tell you this. We're leaving now with the truck, so just get out of the way. All the money we have in the world is tied up in this truckload of vegetables. If we don't get them to market, they will rot. Please let us go. What right have you got to detain any of us? We want an explanation. Hmm. I assume those shots are your answer? That's right. Now, will you cooperate? We'll come. No use in fighting. Where in the world could they be taking us? I don't know. Somehow I feel as if we'll never get out of here alive. We'll never be able to break out of here. This place looks like a gas chamber. A gas chamber? Oh, no. We'll never get out of this awful mess alive. Look at that. The wall is moving. Now we're all going to die. And it's all your fault. You told me it was just an ordinary vegetable delivery. Be quiet. The girl's got more courage than you have. Oh, I don't want to die. They are holding us here just because we happen to have seen that peculiar robot. Do you think they'll do anything besides holding us prisoner? Hard to tell. I don't understand this situation at the moment. Hmm, so those are the people who saw the armored man. They'll have to be treated. The sooner they forget what they've seen, the better. 
refuse the treatment to them all at once. There's no use treating them one at a time. Fine. This will take care of them. Look, that thing is turned on. The light. Hey, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Meanwhile, in the open country surrounding the building, a strange search was going on. tracks. Move in closer. He must be in those rocks. Come, come out, out, Sergeant, Sergeant Burgatroyd, Burgatroyd, or we'll have, or we'll to, have come to come in, in after, after you, you, and you'll be charged with desertion. This, this is your last, last warning, warning, AM. AM. Now, now come, come on out, out here. here. I'm through talking. Platoon, move in on the double. about him. Now oh, tell me what's going on. I'm Dr. Rudolph. This man is General Grump. Dr. Rudolph, tell me what has been done to these people. Don't worry, no one is injured. They are only in a hypnotic sleep. We would like to talk with you for a while. The girl will be perfectly safe here and we can be more comfortable in my office. All right, if it will help matters any then the light produces a hypnotic sleep, eh? That's right. And when the person wakes up from the sleep, he forgets everything he has seen and heard for the past 24 hours. But why did you hypnotize us? Because you happen to see our Sergeant A.M. and we can't have that. Sergeant A.M., do you mean that monster? Sergeant A.M. is not a monster at all. He is simply a soldier in the service of our country. And the most important military secret we have. That's why you were all hypnotized. It didn't affect you, though, so we must ask you to stay for a while. Supposing I do object, then what? Then we would have to keep you here by force and under a close guard for security reasons. Think it over before you decide. As a citizen, you have no right to detain me. The security of our nation is at stake. How can you argue? I have only one word for that. Try holding me by force. Stop this bickering, both of you. Dr. Rudolph, I think it's about time you cleared things up by explaining the true situation to him. All right, if you think we should. But he must understand that once he knows, he must maintain absolute secrecy. What you saw was Sergeant Murgatroyd, the experimental armored man. The armored man? Tell me about him. This film will make my explanation clear to you. This is the armored man. He can travel to any planet with no special equipment. An ordinary rocket that has exploded arrival is his vehicle. And the loneliness of space doesn't bother him. He can handle flying meteors and any other space dangers. And he is intelligent. He is able to handle sensitive controls, send and receive messages. Protect himself from dangers that would destroy ordinary humans. Even molten lava holds no terror for A.M. There you see him frozen solid in a cake of ice. And even in there, he can think and communicate. And if all this seems like a miracle, it is more of a wonder than you imagine. You see, A.M. is really Sergeant Arthur Murgatroyd. He's been rebuilt surgically for space exploration. Underneath that armored body is a human being, a soldier of his country. Now you understand why we must ask you to cooperate. We know you are a detective and a loyal patriotic citizen. Give us your word. 
You can depend on me, Dr. Rudolph. I won't say a word. Our big problem now is to find out why A.M. deserted the Army and if something has gone wrong with his mind. This is General Grump. Commander, control yourself. You say that A.M. has gone mad and the soldiers are in panic. My troops are demoralized. A.M. has gone crazy. He is terrible. Commander, stop your hysterics. Do you hear? All right, sir. I'm calm, completely calm there. See? Please let me use rockets to stop that crazy monster. Don't you even think of using rockets, you fool. A.M. is a fellow soldier. How can you suggest that? I'll handle it. A.M. must have gone mad. We'll send out reinforcements to find him. This is your fault. I told you that A.M. should have stayed in the laboratory longer so that we could study his reactions, but no, you couldn't wait to get him in the army. You're blaming me when it was you, my fair weather friend, who insisted A.M. was ready for anything. Remember? No matter who's at fault, we must work together now. Look. Detective Tobor is gone. He can't do this. A.M. is gone. He escaped us completely. Keep searching. Get search planes out at dawn. Morning will be too late. We must find the armored man immediately. Do you hear me? There you go again, giving me orders, and believe me, I'm sick and tired of it. I am general here, and all I want from you is your cooperation. The armored man has gone wild. He's more dangerous than an army now. I've got to find him and stop him if I can. Who are you out there? I'm called Eighth Man. What do you want? I want to help you, and I know I can. Won't you talk to me for a little while, A.M.? He must be nearby. I will try my infrared search beam lenses. There. No, it doesn't help. Murgatroyd, show yourself. Well, at least someone calls me something else besides AM or Monster. Come on out where we can talk. I'm a robot just like you, and we might be able to plan a way of helping you. Help me? Nobody wants to help me. You may be a robot, but you're in with the rest of them. Sergeant Murgatroyd, you deserted the army. Now you've injured many of your bodies. Why? Tell me! How can a horrible monster like me have any buddies? They made a mechanical horror out of me. I know you're a mechanized armored man, but it was an experiment to advance science, Murgatroyd. Advance science? Sure. The whole world is responsible. I have feelings. I have a heart. But for the sake of Dr. Rudolph's science and Grump's army, I'm turned into a thing. I'll get revenge on everyone. Don't say that. The doctor and the general especially don't deserve to live. I'm going to get them. You're wrong, Murgatroyd. They're worried about you. Let me prove it to you before you go ahead and do anything awful. They're worried about me. That's a real joke, huh? I tell you it's true. I'm through talking. Sergeant Murgatroyd? Are you there? Sergeant Murgatroyd? He's gone. Six one seven reporting. No sign of him. Search continuing. This is some mess you got me into. I even got a call from the president this morning. Quit yelling at me. I just can't take any more of this. I'll yell at you until you find out what went wrong. This was your responsibility. Now get on the ball and do something constructive. I have no way of finding out what's wrong with the sergeant. You must at least find out where he is. How can I do that? Try an electronic search. Well, where have you been? You have no business wandering around this laboratory alone and without a guide. Never mind that. There are important things to discuss. Right here is a picture of Sergeant Murgatroyd before this fantastic experiment. How in the world did you get that photograph? Don't forget that I am a detective, Doctor. And now here is a picture of the armored man. How would you feel if someone made you look like that? I found out that that is the main reason for his terrible anger and for his desertion from the army, and there will be more trouble from AM. We, we must, must contact, contact him. 
A.M. is infuriated. He intends to kill you two and spread disaster everywhere. It's not fair for A.M. to hate us. We didn't try to hurt him. Well, Murgatroyd feels differently, and you just think it over. What should we do now? Any more of your famous suggestions? <sighs> oh, let me alone, Gromp. I'm miserable enough already. Ah, here's a diagram of how A.M. is built. Hmm. He has Murgatroyd's brain and internal organs and a special alloy and plastic covering molded over his own body. He has all the human emotions, poor fellow. And he's ashamed of his horrible appearance. But this proves that he can be made to look human again, if he'd only listen. So sleepy. I don't know if I can stay awake any longer, but we must stay awake. You hear? We must stay awake. Of course, we must be alert and be on the job. I'm wide awake, see? I'm a... Uh... Okay, man, let's go. We must be ready. All the guards have been briefed and are in position. All signal systems have been double-checked, and they are working. Now, we can only wait. There's something out there. Put the search beam on and sound the alarm. Dr. Rudolph, it would be a very good idea for you and the chief to hide for a little while. I'll talk with Murgatroyd and see if I can talk some sense into him. But where can we hide so that A.M. won't be able to find us? I know just the place. Rump, you go with Dr. Rudolph. Both of you stay hidden until you get further word from me. I don't think you should go out there alone. A.M. is berserk. He'll kill you before you can say a word to him. Thanks, but don't worry about me. Just see to it that Murgatroyd doesn't find you two. This room is made completely of steel. A.M. couldn't get us here in a million years. I knew that the armored man would head for the generator to add power to his energy cells. Now you listen to me, Sergeant Murgatroyd. You can't be permitted to go on smashing things up because of the insane desire you have to get your revenge. I will get even with everyone. But what good will that do you? I'll have the satisfaction of seeing others suffer physically as I suffer in my mind and my heart. I will destroy. But the army is waiting outside for you. They'll blow you to pieces. That's what you think. Just watch me. Halt, Sergeant. Get out of my way. Get back to the laboratory. Fire! Fire! <laughs> Try and stop me! Safe in here? Hey, what's that? Ah! Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. 
Sergeant Murgatroyd reporting, sirs. Ha, 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 ha. Are you frightened? Why? You created me. Stop, you mustn't do this. It's murder. It's illegal. Murgatroyd, I order you to put me down. Please. Nothing will save you. Murgatroyd, you're a man. You must have compassion. Don't do this thing. Did you have pity when you made me like this? Help! Let, let Help! Me go! Help! 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 All right, cut it out, Murgatroyd. Now control yourself, A.M., or I'll have to harm you. He tried to kill us. He absolutely won't listen to me. Now get out of my way, little robot, or I'll tear you apart. Scat! I'm running out of patience, you stubborn big baby. Ha! Ah. All right, you won it the hard way. Now, Ace Man, you have my machine. I'm going to break you into splinters. You say you don't want to be considered a monster, and now you're acting like one. Murgatroyd, does that make sense? What do I have to hope for now? All I want is revenge, you hear? Revenge! I have no choice. Take that! My arm! Look at my arm! I'm sorry, but you insisted on a battle. Oh! Have you had enough? Enough! Enough! I'm finished! All I ever wanted was to be just Sergeant Arthur Murgatroyd. And so you will be. I have found out that it's possible for Dr. Rudolph to rebuild your body so that you are once again a normal human being. You will be returned as a loyal, brave, and competent soldier to the life you had. I'm so happy I would cry if I had tears to cry with. You will have tears to cry with in a short time. I promise you, Sergeant Murgatroyd, it will not be long. G8 man, you're a robot, but you have a real heart. We'll start right away. I'll have a crane sent in. We'll make him. You certainly will, and do a good job. And if you must experiment with space exploration robots, don't make them out of people. You'd better remember what I said, you two. I mean to watch you. I'll remember. I'll remember, too. Will you? No doubt. Be sure of it. Oh, uh, I will. Later, back on the road where our adventure had started. I must have fallen asleep. I'm sorry, Tobor. Tell me, have we been parked here very long? A little while, Jenny. Can't you get it started, buddy? You need any help? No, thank you, driver. Please, go on around. Don't you think you'd better take me home? Right away. Your wish, young lady, is my command. Thank you. 